A lot of challenges may have come your way or may have shaken the foundation of your relationship. Yet, you are still in love with this person. You still desire this person. People are asking, why haven't they broken up? But they won't believe if you told them I don't know too. So here is what you should know about why you still desire and love someone despite all the odds you do have been through. God doesn't just do things, and things does not just happen to a child of God. He has a reason why your heart is still beating in and out of season for this person. You have had numerous quarrels that ended in silence. Lonely nights where your spouse didn't speak to you for days, and your lover didn't pick you up for your couple's weekly evening dates. There were times you felt he or she wasn't being understanding and you remember the nugget you saw some time ago about understanding being above knowledge. Knowing somebody isn't enough, but empathy fills in those blank spaces, and you wish he or she can be such an empath at all times. Unfortunately, not always. Despite all these, God says stick together and learn something valuable. For example, the pen and paper aren't alike in any way, but then, they both fulfill their essence with each other. And this is something that God needs you to see. You need to understand that your partner comes from an entirely different background, which is influenced by his or her emotional experience, parents, or environments, which means that you both are certainly not going to see eye to eye on issues. There will be series of arguments, but hey, this doesn't mean that you aren't supposed to be a couple. If arguments were the yardstick for separation, then Jonah wouldn't have been given second chances by God. God doesn't use his mind to snap out our points of views. He listens and tells us what to do. And when we insist on doing what we feel is right, he doesn't push us away. Instead, he says, come, let's reason together. Isaiah 1 verse 18. I hope you are learning something. You may have laid out principles of daily living life. No clothes lining about. No dirty plates should be left in the sink. But he or she is in the habit of breaking your rules and you are getting pissed off. But what does Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 to tell you? It says that you are to forgive 70 times 7. And your love for him or her will cause you to heal. Because love has the power to cover a multitude of sin. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 8. However, love needs patience. A newly wedded couple received words of encouragement on their wedding day, and the one word that kept resounding was patience. The excitement can get exhausted, and you won't feel loved. Yes, but you see the patience you have is what will guide you to keep loving even when it seems like all is lost. See, if God was impatient, a world like ours would never have leaved to read John chapter 3 verse 16. Why? It is because there wouldn't have been Christ coming down to earth. Both patience was what gave birth to Adam, and Eve being clothed with skin. You need to realize that your life as a child of Zion should not try to fit to worldly standards. Teenage boys and girls have had numerous dates before they clock 20, and if you get to ask them why they had lots of breakups, most of them will tell you that whatever they did back then was for fun. No strings attached, because they are scared of being committed. Some see commitment as a prison sentence. God has really had hard times with humans, but he keeps fighting harder to keep us. The spirit of God in you is a fighter, so keep fighting for your relationship to work. Because child of God, your relationship is a constant work in progress. As long as you are within it, it remains working. Homes that turn to danger or deserted zones happen to be sold. Why? It is because the people who held vital roles stopped working. They gave up. You are not to stop. You are not to give up. Because God says your relationship should strive. You have to do everything possible to make it work. You need to know that not everyone is happy for you too. And they have their wishes too as you make yours. And I must tell you that their own wishes won't favor you. And that's why you need to know that some challenges that comes are not arrows from Cupid, but from the dark. When the devil visited Judd, he made sure he touched everything that mattered to him. The devil is still the same. He will use your love for your partner to break you. Note that every blessing that comes your way has the power of costing you. That is why you are encouraged to watch and pray as it is written in Matthew chapter 26 verse 41. Just as the pen and paper with our differences, God sees the much you both can achieve once you keep loving and desiring your partner. 
You may have attended marriage seminars and had lots of inspiring speeches made by older couples. And you wondered when your turn would come and when you will stand in front of a crowd and speak such testimony. That time isn't far. It is now as long as you begin today. You will be a blessing in people's marriages. You will tell them how the devil tried and failed. You will motivate them to see that there are other alternatives than separation. You may be feeling like this relationship is taking you nowhere. It seems like Proverbs chapter 18 verse 20 to line. Your grandmother once told you, a good partner opens doors of opportunities. And you wonder how, and her reply was, that's how it works. Good attracts good. But so far, you haven't seen any good because you have let the few downs overshadow the blessings that come. One thing you must understand is that blessings comes in various forms. It must not be cash always. What of the good health you've been enjoying? And what about the frequent peace of mind which you didn't even have before? What about that? Let me tell you this. Successful people have challenges always. Yes, they have challenges always. Remember this. The difference that lies between them and unsuccessful people is that they keep trying and not giving up even when it seems there's no positive results. Leaving the battlefield when it gets heated up is not salvation. True victors fight on. So why do you want to leave? Why do you want to leave? Why do you want to give up? Why do you want to stop? Don't. I say it again, don't give up. When the going gets tougher, hug tighter. And do not let go. Your trophies awaits you not when you end it, but when you earn it. If you close this door that God wants you to hold on to, there might not be another door, is it? Every man and woman has a flaw and has a past. So if you cannot tolerate him or her, then you lack the light. God didn't make perfect people. He made us imperfect so we can learn by ourselves to become perfect. And you need your partner through this journey. This is all God needs you to learn. Because ending relationships to find peace isn't the cure. Sometimes we need to call back the numbers we deleted or blacklisted. Sometimes we need to see that marriage therapist. Sometimes we need to fall on our knees and pour our heart out to God because we know the Father cares for us. It can be tiring sometimes to put up with a lot of things. But Galatians 6 verse 9 advises that you should not become weary in good doing. For in due season and proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you will be the first to hear our new daily messages. See you next time and may God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.